to continue that streak. That's right, the Colonials have won three in a row. They are nine and one in their last 10, and we are underway here at the Danbury Arena. The Colonials in their home white uniforms with the orange and gray trim. They'll skate from right to left on your screens at home as O'Brien helps this one along the boards. Cope tries finding Westendorf, cut off. Liebold just simply pressing Cope up against the boards. Now they manage to release. Liebold had the puck in his skate, taken away by Madsy, who chips it off the glass, but not out of the zone. Good keep at the blue line by William Darling. Missing on the poke check was Judson McGrath. Now McEnany. They'll force it behind the net of O'Brien. Madsy rattles one around the wall. Cope has it in his skates. Darling providing the pressure. Now McEnany will pick it up. He'll tr take this one by himself out of the zone, sending one off the shin pads of Thomas Liebold. McEnany on the second attempt gets into Elmira's zone. Top of the circle now at the dot into the corner. Behind the net. Absorbs a hit from Murphy but stays in possession of the puck. Wojciechowski off the bench, acts as a decoy. McEnany's shot is blocked, and now here comes Liam Murphy the other way. Murphy across for Fuller. Fuller taken down from behind. No call coming as Fuller goes sliding into the boards. Yeah, Cole Madsey made a smart play. He goes right for the stick. No slash, no worry there. That's a good no call by the official. Kyle McEnany, good elusive movement with the puck by himself. He just has to move it to a teammate a little bit quicker there. Shoots it into a wall of soaring eagles, and that's the reason why... Uh, they just kind of take each other's uh, pulses, if you will. A uh, shot off the draw, saved by O'Brien, but Wesley Weston. Murphy as well, just skating to the outside, outside, outside. Rides that backhand all the way in. O'Brien makes a sure-handed save and had to make a difficult one on the previous play as well. Pass intended for Liebold was cut off by Madsy. He'll send it all the way down. Danbury comes into this game killing off 76.1% of their penalties at his... And McEnany goes into the curved glass on the side of the bench. Yeah, he was shaking his head a little bit. I think he got pinned up against the boards. Oh, that's where the old stanchions used to be, and well, that can certainly be dangerous. However, Danbury Arena, one of the few Husky off the chest of Skinner. And now into the zone, this is Fogelgren. Sent across, but unable to control the pass was Ben Sauerball, as Sauerball had nobody in front of him. Sent down low, Sauerball again loses a handle, and Weber is able to clear. Yeah, Danbury catches a break there. It was McGrath who kind of bit a little bit in the neutral zone of that loose puck. He goes for the puck and just completely whiffs on it. It allows for that odd man rush over the blue line for Elmira, and that just that pass was not connected well enough. That would have been a sure-handed opportunity towards O'Brien, but the connection was just not there. Power play has expired for Elmira, and we're back to five-a-side hockey as out the Soaring Eagles record one shot on goal with a man advantage. Here's Kyle McNenny over center red and the Westcon logo. He finds Westendorf, a backhand shot, kick saved by Conkle. Now in front again, Cope tries going high over the bar. McNenny picks up the loose puck at the point, sent on goal off the chest of Conkle. Danbury with three shots on goal, but Nick Conkle standing strong. Yeah, good shift for Westendorf too. He had obviously that little breakaway chance there, just didn't get enough on the shot, and that's why Conkle was able to kick his leg out. Now back the other way come the Eagles, sent in front and off the stick of John Kosa. Good defense put on by Cole Madsey. Here's Balestra sending it back down. O'Brien this time staying on his feet, leaves the puck for four hours. Two really, really good games. This series is going to be so, so huge, and you could already tell that it might be down to the wire. You're right, because these guys will be in action again. 1.30 right here on Hockey TV from Danbury Arena. And, oh, that's it for the regular season yeah. after tomorrow. Seems like it went by in a blink. Absolutely. A uh, far cry from our uh, first game that was called from the premium suite section on the other side of the ice. And it, it had the... Uh... They score! Brandon Cope! For a response, Judson McGrath off the boards, knocked down by Brady Hill. Hill gets it into the Elmira end, but waves at it as it gets chipped off the glass back towards center ice. And you almost kind of feel deflated if you're Elmira giving up those two quick goals after having such a great start in the offensive zone. You have to find that swagger back. 
Kyle McEnany, who has plenty of swagger himself, racing ahead through the neutral zone into Elmira's zone. He's taken down on the play, no call coming as the referees are letting him go at it. Here is Murphy up ahead. Liam Murphy on a two-on-one has Liebold and said, takes the shot, it goes off the side of the cage. Murphy picks up his own rebound and gives to Darling. Darling's shot goes off the skates of Brandon Cope. Wojciechowski, hard off the boards. He finds McEnany. McEnany will gain the red line. He's towards the end of his shift, but will maintain possession. Now threads a needle for Cope, a shot into the chest of Conkle, and he'll hold on. Sent back down, and well, Danbury in the middle of a change. That's why they weren't able to really maintain possession. Yeah, not a problem for them, but just going back to your Franklin Berry comments. Spoke to his mother before the game. She was almost in tears about how everyone reacted and the entire bench was jumping for joy. She was so happy to obviously see her son score his first goal in junior hockey. We were happy as well, and she had some kind words for us, Zach. She said thank you. I mean, Mashar's producing at a high rate. Kevin Remsen was named Northeast Division Star of the Week. Uh, I mean, the accolades and the performances from this orange and black side have just connected so, so well over these last couple of weeks, it's through this last month. It's been so positive for them. And again, at the right time, Zach, this is when you want to put everything together and, and start to get those pieces working. McEnany turns the puck over. An easy shot for Shane O'Brien from the blue line. He'll hold on. And yeah, Jazzy very quickly back to Colby Donovan. Donovan a snapshot. That goes over the top of the cage. Fogelgren off the Elmira bench. Retreats down into the corner. Shovels it to the far side. Brandon Cope waiting for that. Trying to get a handle on it was Colpine. Cope still with the puck up against the boards. And it gets swung out of the zone. Nice clear by Jeffrey Walton. But it will go all the way down the ice. Icing is called. And with 5.14 to go here in the first period. Opportunities puck possession. Since those two goals, again, Elmira. It is Wesley Westendorf up ahead for McEnany. Poked off of his dick. Loose puck at the Hattricks logo at center ice and it's sent all the way down by Westendorf. Now Darling has support in Kosa. Darling still trying to come up with the puck. Now he does. Turned over. McEnany in front tries giving along for Cope. But Cope ran out of space. Back. Oh, go ahead. Yeah, McEnany took a shot back in the leg. He's a little slow to get up. And Kyle McEnany is now just getting out of the Elmira zone. Meanwhile, Brandon Cope will chase after a puck at center ice. Balestra puts it right onto the stick of Connor Lefkoff, and he gives to McEnany. McEnany tries giving along for Westendorf, knocked away. McEnany again will maintain possession as he goes out towards the red line. Now Kyle McEnany looking to do it all himself, runs into three soaring eagles, lost possession of the puck. Ethan Fuller. Takes the puck away. Liam Murphy, six foot three. It's rare that he's looking. Smart play by Wojciechowski, just kind of holding off that body, gets a good clear. Eagles regroup. Here's Fogelgren. His pass cut down by Cope. Sent all the way down. Conkle this time along the boards. Fogelgren, and again, Brandon Cope sending it down deep. Now, this is the second time that we've seen Elmira's power play, and you see why they had. Some struggles this season. They're not doing well through the neutral zone, not getting the puck tape to tape. They have to simplify their game, I think, a little bit, trying to do too much with the puck. And Danbury all over it. Oh, and you have some of your most talented forwards out on the ice. As this is actually going to be called for an icing, but when your penalty killers are Brandon Cope and Kyle... ...and has become Danbury's own zone is a pr pretty much a guarded house right now. Puck rolls in on goal. Now Weber again on the draw. McEnany tries to go over, check that. That's Westendorf on the draw. He sends it around over to the far side. Brandon Cope chasing after it. There's a referee in the way. Sam Miller comes up with it. Miller knocked off his stick by Cope. He recovers, gives along for Botting. 
Vogelgren has that knocked off of his stick. And now it's Balestra. He manages to find Kosa up ahead for Botting. Botting knocked off his stick by Lefkoff. In the corner, chip down low for Kosa. Kosa comes together with Wojciechowski, and Westendorf will take it away, getting it out of the zone. Eagles coming back the other way. Fogelgren is off sides. There's the whistle, and the faceoff will come out. Elmira's power play almost suffering at this point. For Weber, it's his 14th goal of the season, his second on the power, or rather on the penalty kill. And you're right, Jack, the Elmira power play not getting the job done as Darling centering attempt taken away by Donovan, but holding the blue line very neatly with Sam Miller. Now Donovan looking for another clearing attempt. Fell down, lost possession of the puck. Botting along the half wall. Lefkoff, Botting centering attempt ends up on the stick of a Darling. Now Miller from the point, saved by O'Brien. He holds on. Couple of uh, minutes here for Dylan Weber to start this second period. Good effort there, just skating with the puck. Now another turnover, Brandon Kobe scores! Another short. As he gets pulled two minutes and 47 seconds into the second period, surrendering four goals on 13 shots. And Andrew Angle, the presumptive starter for the Elmira Junior Soaring Eagles, finds himself back in the cage. He has a personal record of 10 wins, 10 losses, one overtime loss, a goals against average of 3-1-5, a save percentage. They score! Antonio Balestra! Texas. Boy, a lot of Lone Star State uh, action yeah. down here in Danbury. So back underway, a minute 38 remains on Elmira's fourth power play. It's Connor Lefkoff coming together with John Kosa. Kosa ends up taking a seat, and Danbury's able to clear once again. Slowly down the ice, chasing after it's Brandon Cope. Cope nearly is able to beat Darling to the puck, but Darling with one hand on his stick gives it behind the net, now gets the puck back. William Darling at the blue line. Didn't like what he saw ahead of him, so he slides it across for Sam Miller. Miller's pass goes off the stick, of Walton into the zone. 105 to go in the power play. Lefkoff playing it off the boards, trying to give it to himself. Vogelgren has recovered, but then it'll be Connor Lefkoff from behind his own cage, flipping it all the way down once again. And Zach McEnany, helmet back on in the line of fire there on the bench. He didn't even go down the tunnel to get looked at. Well, tough Matt, man. Yeah, tough guy and certainly hungry to get back out there as O'Brien plays this puck to Cole Madsey. Wraps one around the boards. Skinner unable to hold the blue line. Weber will give chase, but Sam Miller will get there first. 35 to go on the power play. Work hard and, and get this game back in order. A uh, sharp angle attempt misses high and ends up in the corner now at the point Wojciechowski. Can't get around Fogelgren. Off the skates, still in the zone. McEnany a rising shot, misses high. Cope goes back, Wojciechowski. Another shot deflected by Westendorf. Angle makes the save. Good Mac to Yeah. Now Cope. His pass intended for Lefkoff. Lefkoff had already started going back to his defensive position. So at the red line, Wojciechowski finds Brandon Cope. Cope chips it down, leaf, uh, down low past Miller. Scooped up by Land. And now Fogelgren. Westendorf on the forecheck, breaking things up. Remsen, a sharp angle attempt off the blocker of Angle. Botting. Up ahead, Fogelgren, two on two into the Danbury zone. It's botting, a shot worn by Wojciechowski. Let's go the other way. Kevin Remsen has an option in Westendorf and said just chips it on goal in and out of the glove of Angle. Land falls down on the play. Now McEnany, a backhand shot off the glove of Angle. McEnany picks up his own rebound in the corner. Madsy there to help him as well. McEnany trying to dig this puck out, and he does. Tried going back to Brandon Cope, who's covering at the point. Cope at the red line. Madsy didn't know the puck was behind him. Cope did at the top of the circle. A shot gloved by Angle, and he holds on. And Jack, it seems like Danbury's really trying. He did in the first period, or you draw penalties. Four on three action as it's Weber, McEnany, Cope, and Lefkoff. The power play unit for Danbury. Lefkoff. Gives along McEnany. McEnany had the puck hop over his stick, and so he has to retreat out towards center ice. He gets around Fogelgren, now gaining speed into the Elmira zone. McEnany behind the cage, Weber. 
Weber has an option in Cope. Instead, everybody changes position. Now Lefkoff with the puck. Gives for McEnany. Back to Lefkoff. Lefkoff a shot. Deflected on goal. Engel makes the save. The rebound goes behind the net. Cope picking up the loose puck. Cope a shot into the bread basket of Engel. And he'll hold on. Kevin Remsen lost possession of the puck. Taken away by DeCola. Into the zone. Getting in the way of that shot was Madzi. Now Liam Murphy. He'll chip it down deep. Madzi, two seconds and one. And we're back to five aside hockey. So Danbury getting some opportunities on the, on the power play, but unable to find the back of the net. Colby Donovan picks up a loose puck in the neutral zone. He'll spin and send one towards goal. Cope chips it down low, but Danbury in the middle of a change, so nobody there wearing a white jersey. Long pass through a neutral zone intended for Liebold. He'll chase after us. O'Brien out of his cage negates the icing. Liebold and Wojciechowski together. A pass through the slot. Nobody there. Kept alive at the point. A shot deflected by Murphy. And then a loose puck through the crease. O'Brien had his back to it. Here's Brandon Cope. Two on two. Gives for McEnany. McEnany chips down low where he expected Brandon Cope to be. 3.40 to go in the period. Liam Murphy. It's the red line, dumps it down deep. O'Brien tries to settle it down for Lefkoff. Liebold there as well. They come together into the boards. Lefkoff, nice nifty little stick handling, comes up with the puck, and he gives along for Kyle McEnany. McEnany into the zone, drops off Lefkoff. Lefkoff, that shot blocked. McEnany and Lefkoff behind the cage. Loose puck finds its way to the near side, and it'll be Liebold with 3.13 to go in the period. Liebold runs into a wall named Franklin Berry at the red line, and now Berry into the offensive zone. His shot on goal, easily handled by Engel. Engel wanted to play it, but the whistle blows. Long for Lefkoff, 45 to go in the period. At the red line, Donovan taken down, no call coming. Murphy sends it back down deep, he'll chase after it himself. There's that speed we were talking about with the uh, dump and chase as Elmira has a puck in the Danbury zone. Looking for their fourth shot on goal, 30 seconds to go. They scored with .3 seconds in the first period. Sliced out of the zone by Donovan, but Brandon Cope gets on his horse, beats out the icing call. Balestra takes the puck away from Cope, sends it around, 16 seconds to go. Westendorf keeps it alive, gives a long McEnany, McEnany scores! It has been paid to his glove side. This time McEnany sees his spot and fires away. For McEnany, it is his 25th goal of the season. The draw against Kyle McEnany. Costa's going to try and shoot it on goal. McEnany gets in the way of that. And then Westendorf just rattles one off the glass. Has been able to enter the attacking zone and, and get good cycles and good shifts in. They have to find a way to do so. And I think it's, it's utilizing this top line that's just kind of been quiet tonight. McEnany across for Cope, and he didn't miss by much. Brandon Cope already with a pair of goals in this game. Now Connor Lefkoff from the neutral zone. That goes past the cage of angle. McNenny softly behind the net for Cope. It's a run on the ice, so it bounced over the stick of Cope and taken away by William Darling. Darling at the red line, lost possession. Cope runs into, I believe that was Fogelgren at the end of his shift. Through the neutral zone, Westendorf ahead for Cope, but getting in the way of that was DeCola. It rolls towards the goal and and red line. Lefkoff goes D to D across for Madzi. Havarti, that's the cheese I was trying to think of. Oh, okay. Or Jarlsberg. Not a big Jarlsberg guy. A little provolone. Eh. Has to be the right sandwich. Has to be the right sandwich. Like yeah. a nice Italian. I mean, can you put provolone on something that isn't an Italian sandwich? Yeah, you just maybe just plain ham. Uh, yeah, but a ham with provolone. I mean, that sounds Italian to me. I, don't know. Well, I like to load it up. Pepperoni. Oh, you're going full Italian. Salami. Meats. Ham. A little soprasat. Oh, yeah, why not? Here's Kyle McEnany. Some spicy meat himself. That one goes off the shoulder of Angle. Now Darling. Westendorf. In the Zamboni corner. It goes out of play. And we'll see if anybody can booth. Casey Bryant coming on by. A sheepish grin on his face. Let's see if he <laughs> sticks around. I think he's got to save his vocal pipes. Master of ceremonies later tonight. Oh, they couldn't have picked a better one. Casey, good job. I got a smile out of him at he's least. He's laughing. He's having fun. Got to save those pipes for later. And you tune into the Danbury Hattricks YouTube channel. You can catch all three of us 
a 7 o'clock start tonight. We'll tell you how to take care of your newborn child. Well, that's when we have to <laughs> fill time when the Zambonis don't work. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Wesley Westendorf behind the cage. At the point now, Lefkoff sends it down low, Brandon Cope. Cope taken by Skinner. McEnany in the neutral zone. Westendorf touches up on side play. McEnany turning, looking for an option. Didn't see anything he liked, so he just simply sends it towards goal, and that goes off the midsection of Skinner. Elmira unable to clear. Danbury with the sustained pressure. McEnany goes back left cough. Another shot gets deflected out of play, and the faceoff will remain. It's your chance if you're Elmira. Off the draw, it's controlled by the Eagles. They have connected on the power play once already. Liebold's centering attempt gets deflected into the chest of McEnany, who sends it all the way down. Well, Liebold has been hunting. He had the primary assist recently on the Murphy goal. Good pass across there, just enough, to which I think Lefkoff got his stick there just to knock that puck off enough. Liebold stripped of the puck at the blue line, sent all the way down the ice. Angle comes out of his net as McEnany would have been the first one to it. Dylan Weber sent all the way down once again with 30 seconds to go on the power play. It's a good effort by Fuller that passes to no one in particular, but nobody in the Colonials move their feet to go get the puck, so Fuller comes in, creates some distress, but again, he didn't have any help either, so Thamber was able to clear the puck thanks to the good stick of Dylan Weber. You know, we saw it with the last goal scored by Danbury that started off of the hustle by Brandon Cope. If you're willing to work hard, good things happen. Yeah, especially in this game, you just see all the bounces coming your way, and that's what happened with the Lee Bowl to Murphy goal. That helped with some good effort, and the Machar goal was an effort play. Both of Cope's goals were because of strong effort. I mean, these guys, they're, they're getting rewarded for their, especially if Elmira finds that next goal to try to bring this within one, that's ever so important, that fifth goal, extra goal of insurance, especially at this time of year. Wesley Westendorf gets it as far as the blue line. Ian Skinner takes it away. Gives a long for Botting, who sends it down deep. Shane O'Brien plays one, takes a weird bounce off the glass, doesn't result in any additional danger. Westendorf leaves it for Madzie, and then Madzie sends one off the skates of McGrath. Turnover. Now Botting. Turned over once again. Coming back the other way, it's Kyle McEnany. One on four into the Oof. Elmira zone. Kyle McEnany. Hold on that stretch, and then he finished it off with a nice pass across. So that's what's helped this team. If they can expose Danbury with those stretch passes, get them on the mismatch, it's going to help them out a ton and, and get those scoring chances much more frequently because at this point, uh, anything's better than nothing. That is true. Wojciechowski sends it back down deep. Elmira looking to clear, McEnany keeps it alive. He finds Cope, Cope on the backhand, forced away by Balestra, now chipped across. McEnany, a backhand, tries forcing it in, but what a save by Andrew Angle, he keeps it out. A great effort there, strong stick too on the post. Angle out of position, McEnany just trying to whittle his way around the goaltender, but he couldn't find it, and Angle, what a stop there with the stick. Uh, like you said it, a strong stick, that's what he needed as Kyle McEnany deked Angle down to the ice, but Angle gets the last laugh. Six and a half to go in regulation time. Kyle McEnany touches the puck with a high stick. Everybody will stare at it for a minute, and then we get the... it out of the air. William Darling, eight goals, eight assists so far this season. He can certainly produce. Here's Cope coming the other way. A two-on-one with McEnany. Brandon Cope, a shot saved by Angle. We just talked about Darling and his offensive abilities. He gets burned there on the nice little flip pass to Cope. Now McEnany finding himself on the ice once again. Referee's whistle, or now we get a whistle. This is the time of year, I don't mind that. No, let the boys play, let them figure it out themselves. Yeah. Although Danbury certainly needs to be more disciplined taking six penalties, all, or rather giving up six power plays already. Yeah, absolutely, you gotta stay out of the box, especially over these next five plus minutes, just stay disciplined. Here's Dylan Weber chipping it along for McEnany. Tries going back for Cope, deflected away. Botting, unable to clear. Vogelgren, he can, but it's cut down by Brandon Cope. Now lots of space in front of him. Cope, his shot is blocked. Weber a shot, punched aside by Andrew Angle. A good chance there. Cope just takes too much time with the pass. You see a couple of 
Soaring Eagles down here on the near side boards. They were late to getting out to him, and Cope just kind of dangling it on his wrist and then fires it away. Easy save for Angle. Good rebound opportunity, though, for Weber. McEnany couldn't get the puck back to the point. Now Botting gives along for Kosa, but Kosa flexed away by Madzi. Madzi manages to find McEnany. McEnany stops and at the end of his shift sends it down into the boards. Guy lands on February 28th, so he has that loss under his belt. Took the rest of the weekend off. Didn't play yesterday. Now that's a good point, and you want your goaltender to be in the right frame of mind. You want him to be warm as... We get closer and closer to the playoffs, which begins play next week. Absolutely. This is a good series for him to jump back into play, though, and just go head-to-head -head with, you know, obviously the top of the Northeast Division right now. It could be Skylands, especially if this score holds. It's going to be a, a knotted show between these two at 47, and then Skylands, well, they control their own destiny. They can jump into first with a victory. Now they'll face off against the main wild tonight. Now a turnover down low. Brandon Cope, score! No, off the post. Brandon Cope robbed of the hat trick by the iron. Wow, it's a very similar chance too. He steals the puck in the Elmira zone and he just rings it off the post. The light went on. It was such a good shot. Everyone Plus Elmira has something crazy that they can pull out of the hat here. So Danbury goes back onto the power play there, one for one. Donovan, or check that, 0 for 1. Here is Cope, along for McEnany. Expect Danbury to spend lots of time focusing on possession and not taking shots, they lead by two. McEnany sends it through the legs of Donovan. Weber is able to take it back. Donovan stepping in, a shot saved by Angle. It's loose behind the goaltender. Brandon Cope unable to find it. Now Donovan, another shot goes wide. Oh, Angle out of position there. Donovan couldn't get that shot on net. McEnany. From the blue line, goes off the backside of Sam Miller. Donovan for Lefkoff, now Donovan again. Under 90 seconds to play. Lefkoff, a shot, deflects out of play. 